Goldilocks Productions provides professional internet, TV, and radio shows in the spiritual and new age genre. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me this evening. Uh, this is a Facebook Live uh, post uh, in a uh, replacement of my radio show. Um, I'm actually having technical difficulties with my, uh, with my computer, so please forgive me. Um, but <clears throat> I'm here, I'm here now, and I am, I don't know exactly how long I will be here, but I'm here. Um, hey Lisa, how are you? Okay, so... Uh, I wanted to uh, come on uh, Facebook Live in uh, in replacement of my radio show tonight uh, due to uh, my producers having a bit of um, uh, a bit of a small vacation and uh, also a another duty to do. Um, so uh, I'm taking care of it myself. So. Uh, how is everyone doing? And um, we are going to be um, doing <clears throat> or answering questions this evening, as well as also uh, seeing exactly uh, how a Facebook Live uh, is successful in um, in answering some of y'all's questions. Now, um, I will tell y'all uh, that it's a little bit difficult uh, due to uh, me being on um, me being on my cell phone and doing the Facebook Live, but I'm here, and we are going to uh, continue along uh, as as I guess you would say as uh, much as I possibly can without it aggravating me. Uh, but, um, so we are going to, um, uh, be answering questions, so I do want everyone to, uh, uh, let me know if everyone can hear me and if everyone can see me. Can everyone hear me? Kind of give me a hands up or a thumbs up or a heart to let me know that you can hear me. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, so, um, now, I will be, uh, answering questions, and, uh, we are going to only be able to answer questions over, um, over text, so if you do have a question for me, um, please know that I will get to that as soon as I possibly can, but, um, uh, to be... Um, I want to make a couple announcements before we start getting into uh, asking questions. Um, but these, um, the particular questions or the uh, particular announcements that I want to make uh, first and foremost is, hey Megan, how are you? Hey Allison. Okay, so the first um, announcements that I would like to make is I would like to make uh, the announcement about the October sale. And I would like for everyone to um, please take advantage of this um, because this is uh, a chance of uh, everyone to receive a reading from me at a very special discounted rate. Um, and my per minute charge for uh readings are a dollar fifty per minute so that for thirty minutes is forty five dollars for sixty minutes it is uh or for forty five minutes it's sixty seven fifty and then for forty five or for an hour it is ninety and then for ninety minutes it's one thirty five so uh that is for the reading prices. And that does not include the specialty readings. Uh, and for the healing prices, the healing prices are a dollar per minute. So obviously, 30 minutes, $30, 45 minutes, $45, uh, 60 minutes, $60, and then 90 minutes, $90. So 
those are my current um my current sale prices and uh and that is um up until October 31st at midnight. So do take advantage of those and understand that um that these are uh prices that will be good until um midnight at midnight on October 31st. And then I want to also make the announcement that on um on November 1st, starting November 1st through uh, the end of the year, I am going to be uh, lowering my prices down to $125 per minute. Uh, so that, wonderful Lisa, I cannot wait. Uh, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to kind of give um, the gift of giving and, um, and, Especially be thankful for uh, all of you uh, in um, in following me and joining me on my journey um, of my spiritual path, and also uh, being so uh, so devoted to um, me as your spiritual advisor. So uh, it's a very it's very. Uh, I'm very thankful for all of you and uh, very um, honored to speak to each and every one of you when uh, when you do purchase Shaw's readings. Uh, so do understand that um, that I'm very um, very much in a uh, in a focused uh, in a focused gratitude way and <clears throat> and that speaks that speaks very loudly for me because uh we we are very uh we we have to come to a point in, e in each of our lives where we have to show gratitude uh for what it is that we enjoy as well as also what it is that we uh what it is that we do and I personally, uh, I personally love to speak to each and every one of you, as well as also spend time with you and helping you through all of y'all's problems and all of y'all's situations. Uh, and it really, uh, it really touches my heart to, uh, that, um, uh, to basically put y'all's trust in in me to help y'all through y'all situation so uh i really appreciate that and i really uh i really have to um give my love to each and every one of you uh for that simple uh fact uh, because i know it's uh i know personally it's hard to open up to a total stranger and um and out of fear of that total stranger judging you uh or thinking less uh than you um so it's it's to that um it's to that feeling of uh of showing gratitude for all of y'all so i'm gonna stop uh uh stop with the cheesiness and I'm going to get on to answering some of y'all's questions. But before we get started, I want to uh, I want to also uh, mention that uh, I don't know exactly how long I will be able to uh, to stand here holding my phone uh, due to the simple fact that my uh, my laptop and, or my computer just does not want to cooperate with me this evening and allowing me to do a live on um, on Facebook and don't know exactly what's wrong with it but uh, I will be here as long as I possibly can and as long as I, uh, my um, as long as my anxiety allows me so we are going to uh, begin with uh, opening up the lines of communication for all of you to post y'all's questions. I will take a limited number of questions this evening uh, due to the situations that we uh, 
uh, or due to the situation that I am uh, within uh, with the computer and with the cell phone. So um, I apologize about that. Uh, but do understand that you are more than welcome to uh, take advantage of that uh, special offer and uh, book a private session with me. Um, again, you can book that private session through www.amagicaljourney.com or you can also uh, go to my website, uh, go to my um, email address at, or email me at my email address at angelicguidance13 at gmail.com. You can also call my office at 586-659-9620 and do be, uh, do be noticeable of my um, open hours because um, do know that uh, I do sleep <laughs> and, um, and that is one thing that uh, that is much needed um, to to especially uh, help y'all basically help y'all uh, in the way that I do. <clears throat> and so let's go ahead and start with uh, some questions. Now uh, I do answer any types of questions, but I try to refrain from. Uh, answering health questions, but I will give you my advice on health questions. Um, so please do not um, um, please do not hesitate on asking uh, any types of questions. Um, so the one things that I do need to uh, to receive the accurate information to your question is your birthday. And if you would like to only give your uh, your day, your month, and your year, you're more than welcome. Or your day and your month, you're more than welcome to. And if you, if uh, some of you folks want to give y'all's year, y'all can as well. Uh, it's just it's not needed. Um, it helps, but it's not needed. And also your first name, and um, and then obviously your question. And please limit that to only one question per person uh, due to uh, there being a lot of folks that uh, would like to ask questions. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up uh, the communication lines between us so that your answers can get or your questions can get answered. So now do we have any uh, questions or anybody that would like to ask a question um, uh, now. Hello, Megan. How are you? Okay, so does Sahara have a message for us today? Okay. Let me see if I can prop my phone up. It'd probably be easier. Okay. So let's see if uh, Sahara has a message for us today. Let me just get my notebook here because it's probably easier for uh, for her to write it down. Then, okay. Okay, Sahara, do you have a message for us today? Okay, so her message for us today is, uh, okay, so basically she's saying that the frequencies uh, that are on planet Earth at this time uh, is very intense, and there are a lot of uh, a lot of transitional energies, and what I mean by transitional energies is uh, these particular energies are uh, are basically in they're they're very much uh in accordance to the schumann resonance uh and how high the earth is uh is vibrating at right now uh this is um uh, making us experience uh extreme sensitivities 
and also, um, also intense, uh, vivid dreams, as well as also, as well as also, uh, a lot of anxious energy, and, uh, and also ungroundedness. And this, uh, these particular uh, energies that I'm speaking about, if um, you don't know exactly what the Schumann Resonance is, the Schumann Resonance is the uh, vibration or the frequency of Mother Earth at this time. And uh, if folks are aware of the Schumann Resonance, the Schumann Resonance is, uh, has been spiking for the past... Um, it's been spiking up and down for the past, uh, I would say, about a year and a half. And then what I mean by spiking is it's been spiking uh, going from very low to very high, then back down low. And it's been very extreme and uh, making... Um, or in the vibration and the frequency. So as... Uh, as the Schumer resonance been spiking when it's low, it's uh, allowed for <clears throat> it's basically allowed for a lot of uh, a lot of lower uh, lower level emotions to come into the body, such as like uh, depression, um, anxiety, fear, uh, those particular um, emotions and sensations. And then when it's spiking, um, and when it's spiking, it, uh, turns into extreme sensitivities, uh, energies of, uh, feeling, um, feeling anxiousness as well, as well as also being more, uh, being more aware of your surroundings and vivid, intense dreams, uh, also, uh, ungroundedness. Uh, and uh, then there's also compression within the joints, okay? And as these compressions within the joints uh, happen, uh, it's basically the energies, they are coming down into our crown chakra, and then they're flowing down into our bodies, and they are, it's almost like uh, they're compressing our, uh, our joints or our bones together, um, allowing for these, uh, these intense feelings of, um, or these intense feelings in our knees and our hips and also within our ankles, uh, around feeling very compressed, very, um, almost to that certain uh, extent to where it's painful. So, a lot of it is, uh, a lot of it's due to the Schumann resonance, and as these, uh, as this Schumann resonance uh, or resonance spikes and then uh, plummets, uh, a lot of folks are feeling this in tremendous ways, and uh, and it's all, it all has to do with the level of, uh, of energy that's coming onto the planet and our ascension process. Our ascension process at this particular moment is very, very important. And we need to, uh, come to the realization that each of us are on a path. And two, uh, we need to come into the realization that, uh, some of us are, uh, some of us are on an earth-based path. Some of us are on a, um, some of us are on a mainstream path. And, uh, some of us are on a, co more of a cosmic path. And these particular energies are, uh, are very much, they're very much, uh, they coincide with one another, but but they totally have different beliefs. They have different understandings to them. And when this happens for us, uh, a lot of people, a lot of people step into that, uh, into that fear of I'm running out of time or, uh, I'm, 
uh, am I doing this right? Uh, is, um, is this working for me? And understand that what may work for one person may not work for another. <clears throat> so, you have to find the path or you have to find the certain belief system that works for you. All right, and each individual is different, and as uh, we are individualized, understand that our power is un uh, individualized as well, and uh, as we understand that individualization uh, is a very, um, a very strong, uh, strong word to use, um, we have to understand that. Us personally, as uh, in this uh, in this human understanding, we come into uh, we come into this realization that we as uh, we as sentient beings, or we as uh, beings with um, extra or sensitivities, we we feel these different types of emotions and uh, feelings. Uh, that are, um, that are basically not of the norm, uh, and we have to understand that that's okay, and, uh, we can't sit there and tell ourselves that we're crazy, or, uh, uh, we need to be, uh, in a, uh, straight jacket and a loony bin, because, uh, these are, these are normal feelings of, of of the ascension process and the ascension process is something that uh, allows us to understand our mastery and as we begin to start understanding our mastery in a uh, in a bigger um, in a bigger way we begin to understand that our mastery for who we are what we are and uh, and how we um, individually do it, um, we begin to start seeing our individual mindset of what it is that we can do, what it is that we're able to do. Does that make sense? So, uh, I have uh, seen some uh, folks post some questions, so I'm just going to scroll up and I will continue my uh, my uh, talk uh, here, but I want to make sure that I um, that I do answer some of y'all's folks' questions. So, all right. So let's go ahead and answer Allison Chase's question real quick. All right. So Allison Chase asks Allison uh, or eleven five eighty, and her name's Allison. And will our family's situation get better? All right. So what we are going to do here. Let's see here. All right. Will Allison Chase's family situation get better? Okay. So what I'm going to keep on hearing is, yes, your, uh, your feelings of... Um, Hey, Jean, yes, I will answer your question in just a moment, sweetie. Uh, so, Allison, <clears throat> what I'm feeling here is uh, your prayers and your, uh, your, um, your seek of guidance has been, uh, has been definitely heard and definitely been, um, uh, been, okay, so what they say is that your your prayers have been heard, and you asking for help has been heard as well. So what they say, uh, what they say here, uh, in in a, in conjunct with your prayers have been heard, is that you have to understand that what those uh, what your certain individual family members are going through. Um, y'all need to deal with it head on as a family, but also understand that a lot of, uh, what is happening here, uh, is basically, 
Um, it's basically around personal beliefs and also uh, around uh, around what other people or what, how other people are uh, viewing or how other people are projecting points of view onto uh, onto certain individuals in the family. So, uh, also, I do feel as if um, there is, uh, as there are also some financial situations going on here, because uh, I was being pulled to, uh, to financial situations as well. Allison? Allison. Okay, so, <clears throat> okay, uh, the uh, the situations around uh, your family mem uh, around the family members, uh, and also around uh, the financial stability, um, it's definitely on its way. Uh, I'm seeing by the third week in November, <clears throat> the third week in November, there will be some more comfortable, uh, uh, comfortable frequency, comfortable energy around this, and it seems as if, uh, it seems as if you need to put a little bit of the law of attraction into play here. One of the things that I can, uh, can assist you with is a little, um, a little, uh, bit of magic of what I do when I'm in need of money. And let me find a... Alright, so this is actually a pink candle, but you want to think of it as a green candle, okay? And obviously it's burnt, but I apologize, and this is what I have handy at the moment. Um, so, uh, in your financial situation, you want to take your green candle and... You want to take like a uh, a safety pin or a knife or something sharp. You want to put your name or whoever the uh, main uh, source of income or who who brings the main source of income on the candle. Okay, you just write it on the candle. All right, and then you want to get some honey and sugar. Okay. And you'll want to mix it in like kind of like a little bowl or a little container, okay? And you'll want to mix it in, um, mix it up honey and sugar, probably about a half a teaspoon a piece, all right? After you mix the half a teaspoon a piece of honey and sugar, uh, what you'll do is you'll take the, um, you'll take the uh, energy of, um, or the energy of the sugar and honey, and you'll scoop it up with your fingertips, and you want to bring uh, bring the honey and sugar mixture up the candle towards you, okay? Because you're bringing money towards you, okay? And make sure it's all coated, and then you want to get some cinnamon, and you just want to uh, use the sprinkle type cinnamon, all right? And you'll uh, You'll dash some cinnamon on the candle, but you want to save a little bit of honey and sugar uh, to the side, all right? And then after you sprinkle your uh, sugar and honey, or uh, your uh, spread your sugar and honey on the candle, sprinkle your cinnamon, you'll place it in a can uh, candle holder, like so, all right? And then you'll light your candle, all right, like so. And then after you light your candle, you'll take that scoop of uh, of honey and sugar that you have left behind, stick it on the back of your tongue, uh-uh, and basically you want to sit there and you want to sweet talk your candle, all right? As you sweet talk your candle, you're basically going to say, candle, I need $800, or I need a thousand dollars and you want to basically project your energy onto the candle remember ask and you shall receive 
all right? After you have sat there and, uh, and basically, <clears throat> basically projected your thought on the candle, you want to let the candle burn all the way down. And you don't necessarily have to sit there and watch the candle burn down, but you want to at least spend at least probably about that uh, much of your time with the candle while it's burning, all right? And as, uh, as the candle burns all the way down, your energy and your projection will be uh, lifted into, uh, into planet Earth or into the cosmos. And, and obviously, after you speak, you, uh, sweet talk your candle, tell your candle what to do, you can obviously take a drink and swallow the rest of that sugar and honey. And, uh, and I guarantee you, within seven days, you will have the money that you need, okay? It has always worked for me, and I know it will always work for anybody else that tries it. But it has to be a green candle. You carve your name on the candle. And then, or carve the name of the income provider, alright? And then, spread the sugar and honey towards you. And then sprinkle your sh uh, your um, your cinnamon, set it in the uh, candle holder, scoop up the sugar and honey, put it on the um, back of your tongue, and then basically speaking and sweet talking the candle, saying, "Candle, I need such and such money for such and such bill." Yada yada yada. Thank you. Show gratitude. Take you a drink, swallow that sugar and honey, and what you're doing is you're taking in a bit of that magic as well. All right, and let me know how it works. Okay, I know it works for me. It will work for you. All right. <clears throat> yes, yes, most definitely. Sweet talking, uh, sweet talking, any type of magic works fantastically. Okay. Um. And you are very, very welcome. But I guarantee you, Allison, by the third week of November, there will be much more comfortable, uh, comfortable energy and stable energy within your life. Okay? And much love to you, uh, Allison. And I appreciate you tuning in. Okay, so I saw another question here. And do remember, folks, it is a first-come, first-served basis. And let's see. Next person I, uh, that I see asked a question, Jean Calloway. Hi, Brian. Any idea on when the body of my great-nephew will be, will be found? Okay. So, let's see. Alright, I just heard your angel say before the holiday that he loved the most, and I take that that is Christmas, okay? So it seems as if, um, as if something is possibly holding his body down, um, and, uh, he will eventually, um, he will be eventually come to the surface. I will tell you also I uh, I still uh I still see it. He is going to wash up on the bank and uh all right, and then they're showing me my left hand. So this is um this is obviously on the left hand side uh of yeah, on the left hand side of going All right, going east, going east down the river. All right, so you want to you want to check going east down the river, and on the left hand side, and I see the bank, and then 
There's something off on the in the distance, but I'm not able to uh, actually make out what it is. But they are showing me that this is uh, some form of uh, some form of personal property. Could be a um, could be a a dock or a personal um, a person's house. But it he is there's a dock somewhere close. Because I see the dock, and then goes a little bit further down, uh, down the uh, river, and then I see his body washed up, and and what I keep seeing here, what I keep seeing here is some form of. Um, I will tell you that it feels as if uh it it feels as if his body will be um mutilated uh by um small creatures um but I will tell you that uh you want to you want to make sure that uh well obviously you're probably not going to be able to uh to keep the mama from seeing him, uh, but I will tell you, you just need to be there for the mom, okay? Especially, uh, especially due to the, uh, fact that he's been, uh, been missing for so long, okay? Um, I will tell you also, um, I send my condolences to, uh, you and the family, and I am sorry for your loss, um, and I will continue you all in my prayers and, uh, in the, uh, in hopes of finding his body. Uh, and I send you all my love. And if you ever need to talk, uh, um, Jean, please do let me know. I'm always here. Okay. Much love. Okay. So... Now, the next question I saw, let me just scroll up. Okay, Megan Edwards White, 322.72, will I get what I need for my health to improve? All right, will I need get what I need? You're very welcome. You're very welcome, Jean. Okay, Megan. So will you get what you need for your health to improve? Okay. So I do t uh, feel as if your health is going to uh, improve. And I will tell you that it's going to, uh, it's going to take time, um, uh, for it to improve. But remember, uh, that it's, uh, it's not a lost cause. It, there is hope here, okay? What they are showing me is that, um, with this particular, uh, treatment, um, or what, what exactly that you have in mind, um, as well as also, I don't know if you are a firm believer in energy work, but what they show me here is that you need to, uh, you need to couple things together as far as, like, energy work, uh, certain remedies of some, uh, I keep on seeing some form of uh, herbal remedies. This very well could be some TCM, which is traditional Chinese medicine. Um, and, um, I will tell you, uh, they also showed me, all right, I don't know exactly how to explain this because I'm not, um, I'm not certified in TCM or TCM or anything like that. 
um, but I know someone that I can, uh, I can refer you to, uh, Moxie, Pu uh, Moxie Bustion. Moxie Bustion is something that you, uh, it kind of looks like a, think of this as kind of like a cylinder piece, alright? Uh, it's something that you lay on your meridians, and then you light it on fire, okay? And then basically that Moxie Bustion, what it does is it, uh, basically, um, it clears out the meridians, it clears out the certain, uh, uh, certain points within the body to allow for energy to flow, uh, in a correct manner, in a correct, uh, energetic flow, as well as also allowing for, um, allowing for circulation and, uh, and tremendous amount of detoxification, um, and also, there are some traditional uh, TCM med uh, TCM herbs that would uh, be uh, beneficial for you. I will um, I will message you. Uh, let me make me a small note. Megan Edward White, and I will text you a um, a guy's name that you need to definitely get a hold of. He is absolutely fabulous with uh, TCM, and um, is uh, as I said before, is traditional Chinese medicine, and uh, he knows his stuff. He knows his stuff, and he is uh, he's very good at uh, what he does. He will uh, he will hook you up with the right products, and also. Um, get you um get you the comfort uh that you need as well as also offer some healing if uh if need be also do understand that if you uh would like to try out some of my healing um my uh healing prices are actually rather cheap uh this month and uh they are uh, for 30 minutes of healing work, it's $30. For 45 minutes of he uh, healing work, it's $45. And then for an hour of healing work, it's $60. So definitely uh, try that out. And um, and also, I will message you after I get off of live. And I will um, contact you with um, the TCM practitioner's name. Um, now, do know that uh I don't know exactly his prices but I'm pretty sure that he will obviously probably work with you if you're uh uh if you're a little financially strapped um don't know exactly your situation but uh just kind of have that feeling that you may be a little bit financially strapped due to your health um but um I will definitely uh say uh Habib knows what he's talking about, and uh, I know that he can definitely lend a hand. So, um, but I do see that uh, you will get some uh, relief and improvement uh, as, uh, I would say, as the new year comes along. Okay, Megan? And thank you for, so much for tuning in, and it was a pleasure speaking with you, and a pleasure... Uh, uh, a pleasure answering your questions. And, um, Megan, if you would like to take advantage of my healing offer, you can go to my, uh, website or call my office. My website is www.amagicaljourney.com. You can also call me at 586-659-9620, or you can also, uh, uh email me at angelicguidance13 at gmail.com. All right. And you will need to contact me personally uh, to take advantage of that special offer. And I will send you a link uh, where you can, um, uh, can take advantage of that special offer. And thank you so much, Megan. All right. So, now I've seen another question here. And I want to make sure that I go in order so I don't... Okay, whoops. 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 Oh, come on. Robin McGuire. 
Uh, I am a medium and receive messages from my guides and angels. I am very sensitive. You just answered. Oh, crap. I can't get that C more to come up. Because my fingers are too big. Damn it. So sorry. So sorry. Oh, come on. Please forgive me, y'all. I'm trying different things. I'm trying to get that thing to come up. Robin McGuire, can you post the rest of your question, dear? Okay. Uh, if you want to, uh, sh <laughs> yeah, that's see more. Uh, it's it's a pain. It's a pain. It's like either my fingers are too big, or uh, or it just doesn't want to um uh, doesn't want to work. Okay, so. So yeah, Robin um, McGuire, if you would like to ask your question, um, I got that you were a medium and that you were uh, um, trying to, is, is the guy I think my twin flame really my twin flame. Okay, Robin, what's his, um, what's his first name? <clears throat> What's his first name? Marty. Okay. Marty. Let's see. Is Marty Robin McGuire's twin flame? Okay, I heard no, he is a soulmate, okay? And do understand, you have many soulmates, but only one twin flame, all right? Um, and I will tell you, soulmates, they can be, uh, they can be either ro uh, romantic relationships, or they can also be, um, they can also be, friendships and uh and other special relationships in your life but i automatically heard no um that he was a soulmate um and um and actually that you two have lived several past lives together and uh also has a bit of a bit of karma to release to allow for uh to allow for basic, um, the basic flow of energy to, uh, to actually kind of allow for that, um, allow for that soulmate relationship to, um, be uh, more beneficial because I kind of feel as if there is some doubt that creeps in on both of y'all's part. And I just, uh, I don't, uh, really know if this doubt is, uh, is basically with you or if it's with him, but, <clears throat> okay, well, uh, if you don't feel as if you, uh, should, um, uh, should stay in that toxic relationship, then I would most definitely say get out, get out, because you definitely do not, uh, deserve, um, that energy, because, uh, it's, it's definitely some karma within that, and, uh, as I see that karma, that karma, uh, is basically ruining a lot of your, um, it's ruining a lot of your, uh, energy of, um, it's thrown a lot of your energy around, um, 
around the way that you see yourself and also the way that other people see you and is also pushing things away from you and pushing opportunities away from you and um and this just between me and well obviously it's not between me and you but uh we are live um he uh, he doesn't believe in your abilities he uh he he basically um second guesses them or doesn't have that uh he doesn't feel truth in them okay but robin you're more than welcome to uh catch a reading with me if you like um uh yeah and do know do know sweetheart when uh they keep coming back that's obviously soulmate energy okay um, and soulmates, remember, soulmates, uh, are basically meant just to be friends. Okay? All right, Robin, and you can, uh, catch me at www.imagicaljourney.com, or you can also go to, uh, my email address at angelicguidance13 at gmail.com, or you can also, um, uh, phone me at 586-659-9620. Much love to you, and I love you too, sweetie. Bye-bye. Mm, All right. So, let's... Uh, I am only going to answer, like, uh, two or three more questions here because it's getting late, and I've been up since 4 a.m. this morning, and, uh, yeah. Uh, so, let's see here... All right, my next question is Jedi Ohm. All right, I've been working on my project for a year and a half and still have not completed it. When will you... Okay, let me see if I can get that Seymour to work. No, damn it. Really? All right, Jedi, tell me what the rest of that um, message is. When will it be finished? that the question? Jedi. Yoo-hoo. All right now. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. When it when is it done and will it be a success? All right. I do see it being done by February of next year. And yes, it will be a success um because it seems as if uh it seems as if it had a few uh quirks or it seems as if there is a few quirks that you have to work out from there. Um but um, it does feel to me like you, uh, definitely will be successful with this particular project. And once, uh, once you finish, um, you will have tons and tons of exposure. Um, and I don't know exactly what this exposure means, but, uh, you're going to have a lot of, um, a lot of people, uh, wanting to either work with you or, uh, or, um, or sign up with you, something along the lines of that. There's, uh, I see great success with the, uh, whatever this project is. And it feels to me like it has something to do with, uh, your music. Because I see, I see what is, uh, what looks like a treble clef. And, um, and... I don't, I'm not a music person, so, um, uh, well, I listen to music, but I'm, I normally don't see music signs, alright, 
Um, there you go. Tap dance. Alright, music. There you go. Um, most definitely success. Okay? And by February. By February of 2019. Okay? You see? 2019. And... February. Yes. 2019. Alright. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay, so I am going to answer Catherine McKenzie. Am I finally on the right path? All right, this is what I got, uh, Catherine. And I don't even, even know if you're still with me, but I am going to... Uh, you're very welcome, Jedi. And if you would like to get a hold of um, me for a more in-depth reading, um, you can email me at angelicguidance13 at gmail.com. You, uh, you can also message me. Um, you can also... Um, Contact me through my website at www.amagicaljourney.com or you can also call my office at 586-659-9620. And thank you so much, Jedi. All right, Catherine. So this is what I, uh, this is what they made me write. And it says, Catherine McKenzie, yes, stop questioning, my dear. If it feels right, then it's right. Okay. I laughed. I laughed when I was, uh, while I was channeling that, uh, message for you. And it was, it was plain as day. I didn't have to think about it. My hand started moving, my pen started moving, I was like, really? <laughs> so, totally funny. Totally funny. And I love it when they do that. I don't have to think about the question, don't have to, um, to even write out the, uh, question. All I had to do was, uh, was write out the, uh, ending of your name, and then, boom, it came through. So, yes, Catherine, but if you would like to, uh, uh, if you would like to make an appointment with me, you can call me at 586-659-9620, or you can also go to my website at www.amagicaljourney.com, or you can also call my, uh, or also... Um, email me at angelicguidance13 at gmail.com. And let me just pick up my pen real quick. Okay. And I'm just going to do one more question. One more question. And that is... And that is Tatiana Tagarova. Is it possible for me to be cured without needing transplant? All right, so let's see here. Let me find a new piece of paper. Tatiana. Alright, so, Tatiana, uh, you're very welcome, Catherine. What they uh, channeled through me was, Tatiana, yes, upon personal belief, you will be healed, okay? So, it seems as if you need to change your thought pattern, your belief pattern. And if 
you feel as if you can heal yourself or you feel as if you're uh, going to be healed, you will be healed. All right, and that is without a uh, a transplant. But I uh, but I keep seeing that this transplant is um, is for some reason is definitely going to uh, going to come through, and it seems as if you need to um, you need to put out a little bit more prayer, and when you uh, start this prayer. When you uh, do these prayers, you need to get very detailed and very focused, all right? Um, cut out all outside distractions, okay? All outside distractions seems like they're limiting you. Uh, also, they seem as if they are uh, really weighing on you as well. So, I don't know if you uh, if you have a lot of outside distraction. But, um, okay, so they show me, uh, they show me, a, uh, okay, so I don't know exactly what this means, but they show me a remote and the power button, okay, and then they also show me, uh, the energy of, um, of outside opinions, okay, so, um, if you watch TV, turn off the TV, all right, second off, um, outside opinions, such as, um, them drilling in your head that, uh, that you're gonna, um, pass if you don't have the transplant, that's negative belief systems or a negative thought process, so you need to be like, don't tell me that, um, that is unnecessary for you to tell me that, if I believe I can heal myself, I can heal myself, okay, it's all upon personal belief, all right. Remember, you are uh, you're basically your own uh, your own self's worst critic. If you hear it often enough, and you hear it that often, then you will basically pick up that belief. All right. Don't let that. Uh, don't let other people's judgment bother you. Okay. Other people's judgment is basically basically what's in your way, okay? Other people's judgment, other people's thought of, oh, you're not going to uh, heal yourself if you continue to do this or you continue to do that. And it's basically what I, uh, what I tell folks when, uh, when they bash me for smoking. And it's around personal belief. And if I feel that cigarettes sit there and ground me, and uh, and cigarettes help me, uh, and tobacco helps me connect, then obviously that's my personal belief, and that's how I view it. So that's my belief system, and that's how I uh, have that understanding of that's what's going to happen to me. This is uh this is what um this is what's going to go on for me, okay? Obviously, uh you see all these uh all these commercials of um people with half of a face or a trach uh a trach in their throat or uh, uh or uh walk around with an oxygen ma uh, oxygen machine. That's because they picked up the personal belief of Oh, it's going to kill you. Oh, it's going to do this to you. Oh, it's going to do that to you. Granted, uh, granted, it uh, may happen in the long run, but understand, it's around personal belief. If if you think it's going to do something uh, to you negatively, obviously, it's going to do something to you negatively. Okay, and it's all around how you. Uh, it's basically like this. Do it in moderation, like smoking cigarettes. I smoke in moderation. I don't sit there and uh, and smoke constantly, okay? Uh, except when I'm stressed or anxious or uh, or something along the lines of that. But you you basically say what's on. Uh, you basically say what goes in your body uh, can. 
can, say for instance, if you take a, a handful of vitamins, people uh, think that when you take a handful of vitamins that uh, it's going to help you. No, because you're not uh, necessarily absorbing all of that. You're basically taking a big gelatin caplet and putting it in your mouth and that gelatin takes forever for it to uh, for it to dissolve. So what you do is you eat with it, and that helps with absorption. All right. So it's about how you believe things, and I appreciate that, Robin. Um, I crack myself up sometimes. So, um, but yeah, if you do things in moderation, obviously it's not going to kill you. Balance is what we need in people's lives, okay? If you have a healthy balance or healthy beliefs, then 99% of the time, you're going to be fine, all right? Don't let Tom, Dick, or Harry say, oh, this is going to do this to you, that's going to do that to you, or if you don't get a transplant, you're going to die in uh, in 30 days. No, that's putting a um, an expiration date on the bottom of your foot. And no, we're not Barbies. We're not porcelain dolls. We don't come with an authenticity paper saying, Oh no, you're going to die this date, this date, or that date. Okay? Totally not going to happen like that. Alright? But <clears throat> understand... You got to do things in moderation and in balance. Okay? So, I appreciate everyone. And thank you for, uh, for listening to me. And for joining me in this live, uh, uh, Facebook Live. And do understand if you would like to take advantage of the special offer of um, $1.50 per minute for readings. You will need to contact me personally so that I can send out the invoice or send out the link so that you can take advantage of it. <clears throat> or uh, also the a dollar per minute healing and uh, you will need to contact me for that as well. My contact information is angelicguidance13 at gmail.com. You can also call my office at 586 659 9620. You can also go to my website at www.amagicaljourney.com and fill out the contact form. And thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, Robin. Thank you so much, Tatiana. Thank you so much, Linda. Thank you so much, Megan. Much love to everyone. Thank you so much, Jean. Thank you so much, um, um, Catherine. Much love to everyone. Let angel wings guide your dreams. Blessed be and namaste. Thanks for listening. We hope you enjoyed the show. 